I'm going to tell you guys how it's possible for anyone to grind for the Regis Claymore, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, just so everybody knows, this video is pre-forsaken and it was recorded today on August 18th, 2018. Now, when it comes to the Regis Claymore, I know and understand that it is a crazy grind in glory to do, but it is not impossible, even now. Not to brag, but I did recently was able to obtain the Regis Claymore and I did the grind myself in about five days. Yes five days. I grinded it out for about six hours a day with a very solid team for three days. So a huge shout out to Quick Kill, Zanster27 aka The Walking Google, and Cold Kill. These were the fine gentlemen that I grinded with for those first three days. If you want, you can check our KDs and they aren't the best out there. I think the highest KD out of all of us was like a 1.3 and my KD fluctuated from a 1.09 to a 1.07. What gave us the edge over a lot of other people in competitive PvP was the fact that we had great communication and understanding of how each other played. Nobody ran on their own, there were no toxic players, and no one was bashing each other for making a mistake. But there was a little bit of raging at times when an opponent didn't die when they clearly had no health. In all, it pretty much came down to just good times, laughs, and determination. Unfortunately, one of the members was in the process of moving so we couldn't continue the grind after the third day. Which in turn, I started looking on Destiny LFG for people to fill in the spots when they weren't around for the next two days, and I will say that LFG is a great and terrible tool to use when looking for a team to grind for the Regis Claymore. The reason why it is great is because you can find a lot of skilled players. At the same time, those skilled players can be very toxic people, and you pretty much really don't want that in a fire team. A perfect example is when we invited someone to our group and they completely screamed at specific people because a mistake was made. Now, high KDs, not KDAs, but high KDs do not guarantee a win. Yes, it's a better chance, but it's still not a guarantee. And if you are terrible at Crucible, then higher KD players will be able to help. Know that the key to success in comp is great communication, callouts, team shooting, reviving, especially chain reviving, playing a subclass you know in and out, and playing the game modes. What I mean by playing the game modes is when your team is playing countdown and you're on the offense, you don't have to go ahead and plant the bomb straight away. Take your time and get a few picks that can easily be watched and then plant the bomb. We were never put in this position, but if you successfully plant the bomb seconds before time runs out, then the match will go into overtime and shout out to my buddy AXMix0 for helping me test this out. When doing countdown and you're on defense, you can split up into two teams of two or you can split up into a team of three and one and hold off engaging until the rest of the team gets there unless you can actually get a pick yourself. As for survival, well, getting as many kills isn't the point. There are actually three main ways to play survival. You can knock out the other team, get picks and wait for time, or capture the point. Playing aggressive isn't always a good strat to use, so you really need to fill out the other team in order to see what they do. What works for some teams won't always work for others, so take that into account. What you really need to do is take your time, don't get caught up on the scoreboard, and pretty much have fun. I have seen and been in matches where the opposing team was winning in countdown 3 to 1, and in survival 5 to 1, and in both game modes were great comebacks. Also, try not to go up against a full team of four. You could either stack up against a team of two and two singles, three and one single, or all four singles, which is kind of a little bit time consuming because you constantly need to back in and out of matches. But don't be scared to go up against a team that has a player with a 2.0. We are human and as humans, we all make mistakes. So when the opponent with the 2.0 makes a mistake, just take advantage of it, that way your team can come up on top. The heavy ammo spawn is a great example of this. You don't always have to go and pick up heavy ammo when it spawns. 
use the heavy ammo as bait to get easy kills. And when no one is around, then go ahead and pick it up. But take into the account that the heavy ammo spawn point is usually where most of the traffic will be in the survival game mode since there is only one heavy spawn point. And in Countdown, there are actually two different spawn points for the heavy. Now, if I am correct, then the Regis Claymore will be available until August 28th on the reset, so there is plenty of time to go ahead and do this. Spread your time out. You do not have to do this like we did. Even split up the points to where you get at least 200 points a day, and getting the Regis Claymore is still in your reach before it goes away on the reset. Starting today, if you did 200 points a day, then you will have 10 and a half days in order to obtain the Regis Claymore at 2100 points. Even if you extend the 200 to 300 points a day, if you have the time that is, you can get the Regis Claymore in about a week. And go ahead and extend it even more if you can. It's pretty much all up to you. Now, I understand that people go to school, work long hours, have children, etc. I get it. But, one thing I urge you not to do is to pay somebody to play your account in order to grind for the Regis Claymore. Do not do it. There are many, many people out there that are willing to help other Guardians grind for it. So utilize them instead of coming, I think I seen it as low as $300 out of pocket to grind for the Regis Claymore. Mind you, paying someone in order to do this grind is not a guaranteed win. Somebody with a 3.0 KD will most likely get outgunned by somebody with a 4.0 KD given that both players are at the top of their game. There will always be somebody out there that is better than you. So remember that. I just hope that this helps you guys out a lot and happy grinding. With a 1.07 KD as of this video, if I can do it, then I know you can. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.